Hey guys, I made my options pick for this week, and I want to show you what I picked, why I picked it, and um, we are, we're going to track the progress. Um, I bought it this morning. We'll see how it did by the end of the day, and we'll be tracking it over the next few weeks if I hold it that long. So um, before getting into that, I want to talk to you about preferences for the option that I picked, not speaking of the particular option, but speaking of things such as the strike price as well as the expiration, because those things can cause the price of an option to go up and it can go up considerably. So I want to explain to you why I chose the option I did. First off, strike price. Strike price, basically when you're buying an option, you're buying an option with a promise that you could buy 100 shares of that stock at that particular price, even if the stock moves up in price. Well, I prefer a strike price that is at least at the money to make the option more reasonably priced. At the money, meaning the current price of the stock is around the current strike price of the option. So for the stock I'm looking at, the stock price was around $189.90 something cents. I bought a option with a strike price of $190. That's right near it. Also, expiration date. That is when does the option expire? Now, the closer an option gets to expiration, the more it starts to lose value. It does have an end date, so it does start to lose value. I prefer an expiration date that is at least three months out. That gives the stock time to increase in price, and it's enough time where the option doesn't immediately decrease in value. I also prefer buying call options, but not just any call options. Call options are fundamentally sound stocks at their low price. I checked the latest episode of this week's winning stocks, which we'll talk more about later on Monday when the markets open, and then check each stock in a candlestick chart to see which stocks are continuing to move up. So I'm going to show you these things. The stock I picked was the Hershey Company. And the candlestick chart you're looking at is actually a chart that was in um, this weekend's issue of this week's winning stocks, which was the stocks that did well last week. Notice that the Hershey Company is moved up for the second week straight. It's a three star, and I break my stocks on my watch list down into three tiers. Three star, which is the top tier, most fundamentally sound. Two star, which is a little below that. And one star, which is the bottom tier, but still fundamentally sound. This was a three star, the most fundamentally sound. And Yahoo analysts, even though the stock is currently at, was currently at $187. And 64 cents on Friday, Yahoo analysts estimate that in 12 months, it can move up to $210.41. So this was the chart as of Friday, moved up two weeks in a row. Now, for those who want fundamental analysis, on the Hershey Company. I'm going to drop it in the description. This is what the thumbnail looks like. I'm going to drop it in the description so you can view it if you want. By Monday, when I check the candlestick chart, the stock was moving up, not completely at the top, but moving up for the third week. Here it is on Monday. The candlestick was as was larger 
than the previous week as far as what filled out. And it was as large as the move for the entire week on the first week. So I chose the Hershey Company, and let's look to see what happened. My option pick Monday, January 8th, the Hershey Company. And you see what day that bought it, January 8th, by the open. I bought it, this is January 8th. I bought it with a May 17th expiration date. That is four months away. Four months gives it plenty of time to build up. And I bought it with a $190 strike price. Now, at the time that I bought it, the stock had already moved up some from where it was Friday. So it was at about $189 and 90 something cents. I bought it with a $190 strike price. And the cost for me buying this, it says $12.36. But that's $12.36 for 100 shares. So I bought this option for $1,000. $236.66. And let's see what happened. If we look but no, we'll see the results of what happened by the end of the day. I bought it in the morning, probably between like 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. And here we go by the end of the day. The cost basis is $1,236.66. Now the market value, $1,300. And gain loss, $63.34. So I made $63.34 so far on this option. If I had bought it on Friday and I owned it overnight, I would have made a lot more because a lot of the move that it made up today, it made during when markets were closed. So it was already up when the markets opened in the morning. But now if it makes another big move tonight, since I already own it, I'll have the entire thing. So we are going to take a look if it continues to move. If it doesn't, I'll let it go. But if it continues to move up, we'll be taking a look at this option over the next few weeks and see what happens. Now, this option I picked from this week's stock winners, which I put out every Friday or Saturday or whatever. At the, after the week ends, I put out a this week's stock winners, letting you know which fundamentally sound stocks moved up from their annual low price on the previous week. I also use that this week's stock winners on Monday morning because of the stocks that I brought up in this week's stock winners. I look through all of them and I go through a candlestick chart to see which of them are still moving up. I only saw two moving up, Next Star Media and Hershey, and I decided on Hershey. So you want to keep an eye on this week's stock winners, whether you're buying options or stocks. Also, there's a few videos on my channel that you may want to look at if you want to get into options but don't know as much about it. The Swing Traders Toolkit talks about 
things that you should be that you should know or be aware of that you could possibly monopolize on if you're a swing trader things such as margin and options and so forth and it will tell you some of the questions you'll have to answer if you're trying to open an options account with your broker what is a call option for those who really don't fully understand what options is about there's two different types of options one is a call option and what is a put option and there's a video on the channel what is a call option there's also a video on the channel what is a put option so you may want to check those out if you're confused about this whole thing of options and also, there is one called Bid and Ask Explained. Because when you're buying stocks or options, there's um, you see the price for the stock or the option, but then you'll also see bid and ask prices. So in this video, I explain what that's about. And... So those are some things that you guys can follow up on to learn more about this whole options thing if you're not familiar with it. In any event, um, I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. If you guys have any questions about this, please drop them in the comments. Um, not only that, but maybe you've had experiences or maybe you tried out Hershey, or maybe you're holding options of other stocks. I want some input from you guys. I want to know what you're investing in, what your experience has been with options, even what your strategy may be. So you could drop that stuff in the comments. If you like the video, please like the this um please you know drop a like on the video in any event i'll speak to you guys in the next video